it's, I think it's fair to say that you've got super embraced cyclescaping. You know, yeah, I really love it. Quite, quite a fast journey. Hi everyone, I'm George and this is Steve. Hi. Uh, welcome to episode two of Meet the Scaper and it's an absolute honour for me to be with Steve today. Thanks for inviting me over mate. No problem. Um, just a bit of background, I've known Steve for a couple of years. We'll talk about his kind of philosophy and how we met and all this towards the end of the interview. Mm -hmm. So what have we got Steve? What, what, what aquariums have we got here? There's a 600 behind you. Yep. From Nature Style. Uh, been set up all a year, year at the end of this month. Wow, okay. This since July, so about six months six now, months. six, seven months. Yeah. And then Irigumi, which has been going three months. Three months, okay. So longest to shortest. Yes. Aquascope 600. Aquascaper 900, 900, Aquascaper 600. 600. For those that don't know, the Aquascaper brand by Evolution Aqua. Uh, high quality aquariums, uh, super low iron glass, yes. minimum silicon, all rimless. Yeah. Uh, what did you choose the aquascape for in particular, would you say? I used to have a tank with hood braced. Yeah, big six foot one. Yes, which was the other side, yeah. which was actually in the wrong place because you couldn't, couldn't see, see it. it. Yeah. You never really looked at it. But it was a pain yeah. getting hard scape in. Yeah, because well, of the bracing. Yes, okay. the bracing and also the hood, yeah. very deep. I got the 600 just behind you to that play was, with. That was your first one, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, and you offered to scape it. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you had that running and you had that running simultaneously. Yes. Enjoyed that so much, I'll get these two. Yeah, and, and you got rid of that and one. six foot tank went. And actually you sold that to a guy that's been, he hasn't been on my channel, but I did a skate for him. Yes, you did. It? Yes, in North. I leave a link actually, he did Amazon sort of, sort yeah. of theme. Yeah, yeah nice guy. Yeah, yeah. He, was, he was for his man cave. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you could do him as a meat escape for that. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. Be good. Uh, but this is the oldest, we're running about 12 months. We'd escape this together. Yeah. I'll leave a link to the original kind of setup film. Um, focal point, we've got Trident Fern, we've got a beautiful carpet of the Monte Carlo, is it? Yes. Um, some Hydrocotyl Versicolata. Um, you did have a Neocaris, but it looks like it's disappeared. Yeah, it's been eaten by, by the Monte Carlo. Monte Carlo is a bit of a brute, isn't it? Yeah. Tech, so. yeah. Um, and then we've got some various crypts, we've got some mosses and Ricardia, some Rotala in the back. Have you got any? You did have some like um, colourful stems in the back, didn't you? you? Got rid of those? Or yeah, the hyperoides got too big, okay. and it actually grew over and ended up just drowning everything. Out. Drowning everything. Okay. So I moved it into here. Oh wow! Okay, yes, and that, that's only there. about two months old. Yeah, and it's actually going yeah. on top already. Yeah. <laughs> so a classic kind of style nature aquarium. We've got is it uh, manzanita wood? Yes, the yeah. gnarled manzanita wood. Uh, yeah. did, we, did we use any stones? I can't remember. Oh, some mini yes, landscape. Yes, mini landscape cerium yeah. stone. Uh, tropical soil, is it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, one bag of soil and one bag of powder. Aquascape uh, glass pipe works. Uh, yes. Big eheim external, internal kind of ADA style glass diffuser. Uh, you mix up your own fertilizers, don't you? I use EI, yes. Yeah. So you dose full EI, and what's your maintenance regime, man? Because you weekly, weekly, huge water change, hundred percent now. I do. So what? How, so you you don't obviously drain it all the way to the bottom. No, it? no. Drain it to as far as my shepherd's crook will reach. Okay. So it's about that. So like line. your external filter in like inlet. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you hook that um, over the side, and I siphon it out of the front door. Okay. Onto the plants. Nice. And then when it gets down to there, I'm happy, whatever. Yeah. And then yeah. I pump it in. Yeah. I have a, a small thousand litre an hour sort of pump. Pump, yeah. Pump and drain at, at the same, same time. At the same time, it's just like a running water change, yeah. yeah. So you're guaranteed to be doing probably more than 100% water change. Yeah, you know? I just sleep for 10 minutes or so. I think that's a real top tip. A lot of people are really concerned about changing too much water. Mm. They think it's going to kill bacteria and upset the fish. Yeah. The fish seem to love it. They, I, they it's do. exactly the same with me. They love fresh water. All the bacteria, there's, no, there's hardly any bacteria in water no. anyway. It's all in the substrate or the filter. Mm. <clears throat> the plants are more than capable of dealing with any excess sort of yes. ammonia anyway. Yeah, yeah. So the more water changes, the better. If you could do 100% water change a day, 
then that's yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. If you think I mean? in the wild, the fish, the plants, they're getting 100% water change a second. Well, in a, in a river, in a yeah, stream, yeah, yeah, of course, definitely. Yeah. So and then like, I just add prime yeah, to the volume of the tank. Yeah, as it's spilling yes, the volume of the tank. Yeah. And how much time would you say? Because these are three high energy scapes. We're losing a lot of light. We're using CO2 mm -hmm. injection. We're, we're dosing lots of nutrients. We've got a nutrient rich fertilizer. We've got lots of plant growth. This all adds up to high energy, high maintenance. Yes. Right? So, yeah. how long a week are you spending doing this? Uh, this morning, I did them all. When you phoned, I said I'm, I'm doing maintenance Quick. on Monday. So, Quick, come Steve, around. Do your water changes are <laughs> coming over. <laughs> And it took me a little over three hours to do all three. Do all three. I did a bit more on these two because they needed it. Yeah. Need glass clean and what have okay. you, yeah. and just a straight water change okay. on the tank behind you and there. Yeah. Sometimes it, it might take two hours a tank. Depends how it gets sidetracked. And do you do them all at the same time? Generally, yes. It's a more efficient yes. way, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I find. I used to do one at a time, yeah. but I found that it was just, it I'm be always better. thinking about it, but by the time I get all my bits and bobs yeah, out yeah, yeah. and yeah. put them away, yeah. I might as well just... It's more efficient, yeah. I think the economy of effort is, if you get them all done at once, because everything, yeah. like, say everything's ready, yes. you're in that zone as well, yeah. Yeah. much more efficient. That's awesome. Let's talk about the lighting. So this is, a, yeah. this is I've actually reviewed this light before, this is the flat one. Pretty powerful, right? It's 70 really watts. Powerful. And you're running at 75 percent. So and that's done on your phone, is it? On the yes. Bluetooth app. Yeah. Yeah. Um, really, like super rich greens, and the it's reds are nice as well, aren't they? Yeah. So are you impressed with this? They yes. Do, they yeah. Do a, they do a pendant version, which I think would look quite cool as well. They do. The pendant's much flatter, much yeah. thinner. Yeah. I think. Is it better than the Twin Star? I, I don't know. It's just a, it's a different, different light. It's just different, isn't it? And what is better? Do you know yeah, what I mean? yeah, that's right. Better. Yeah. Um, I think yeah. the colour. I think it, the, the greens look super saturated in here versus like the twin star, and it's obviously more powerful. Um, but I think it's a matter of taste. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'm just playing with it. I, yeah. don't, I just like. Just it, like it gives an interest. Yeah. The change. And so let's talk about the livestock and eagle. Ember tetras. Mm -hmm. Yes. Te cherry shrimp. Yes, there's a few Amanos. A few Amanos. Are these the cherry shrimp that I, from I gave you? Yes, you gave me 10. And yeah, there's, no, probably, there's probably really, yeah. about a hundred in there now. So and so I moved some into here. About 10, it's probably about 50 in there now. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Uh, this is a lot of hard water. Oh, love it. I actually live about two miles away. It's about three kilometres from Steve, so um, we share the same water. Yes. So um, I knew that when we escaped this, I knew he go grow all the plants and breed the shrimp etc. And what are you feeding the fish because the colours are amazing. Yeah it's a Denelay, Denelay nanogram. nanogram. Okay I'll use that yeah. as well after yeah, you very, recommend it actually. Very fine. Yeah. Beautiful. They, they seem, when uh, I added some more ember tetras and they were very pale and people saying oh it's the light that's making you so red, yeah. it's the light. But it's not, no, it's, not yet, it's not, within a couple of months yeah. the food and the amount of plants in there just makes the fish so so healthy. Yeah, I mean, even though you like loads of light, high levels of CO2, I find a lot of people that are, are like really keen fish keepers yes. um, are a little bit concerned with aquascapers because we tend yeah. to inject lots of CO2, we have high levels of, levels of nutrients, yes. etc. Yeah. And they seem to think that this might be bad for the fish. Yeah. Yes. But actually, yeah. you know, the proof is here that the mm. fish are so colourful, they're really yeah. active. They might not be breeding, but that's more down to probably like the water chemistry rather than yes. any sort of yeah. thing caused by the aquascape. Yes. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'll just just throw it out there that you know high energy uh, plant aquariums, aquascapes aren't bad for fish. No. Um, I think the biggest risk probably yeah. is the rimless tank, you know, with yeah. jumpers. But yes. if you choose your fish appropriately, which yeah. is what you you've yes. done that obviously, yeah. you know, we get minimal minimal losses through jumping.
Okay, great. That's the 600 done. Let's talk mm -hmm. about this 900. So yes. it's been running for how long? Since July, August. That's six, five, months, six months. Five, six months. Six months. I don't think you'll mind me saying you had some real dramas with it. It was a nightmare. It was a complete nightmare. I haven't got any footage, unfortunately. You probably won't want to see it. <laughs> yeah, staggering I, algae everywhere. I escaped it. The hardscape was lovely. I was really so good. pleased with it. Completely dry. I planted it. All the wood was glued down. Yeah. Everything glued. Cable ties, rocks on it. Just to stop it from floating. Yeah, right? stop it from floating. The, the, the wood wouldn't sink in my in my race. It's a lava wood, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. But very light, very buoyant. Very floaty. Yeah. Very floaty. <laughs> I, I planted it, and then an hour later, it just went up uh -huh. and turned round. Oh my god! All the plants are everywhere. I did my best, yeah. putting it all back, but I was never really happy with it. Yeah. And the wood seemed just so rich, and because I wasn't happy with it, I wasn't doing the maintenance, no. I wasn't looking after, I wasn't interested in it yeah, that much. Understood. I just left it. It had I didn't do a water change for about a month. Wow. I had duckweed all over the top, <laughs> algae everywhere, and I thought I'll escape it. To call the duckweed out, yeah. did a massive water change, and it was crystal clear. All the algae had gone. Wow. Everything. It almost burnt itself out. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. And now I'm really pleased with it. It's gone on well and you've added yeah. you've added a few interesting plants. So there's a bit of a story about this huge Java fern in the centre. Yes. This I think was the original fern that I put in the Aquascape of six hundred it was. Aquarium Gardens. That's when we first met. Yeah. Yes. So it's quite a nice story really. Yeah. Yeah. So we met I was doing a workshop, wasn't you I? Yeah. And then you, they, and then Steve came in the store in, in Aquarium Gardens. I was um, maintaining the tanks for Dave. Yes. I was working there one yeah. day a week, maintaining the scopes and doing occasional workshops. Steve came in and we struck up a friendship, yeah. more like an acquaintance yeah. to start yeah. with. Yeah. And then Dave's business, the Aquarium Gardens business, was growing, yeah. wasn't it? And I, yeah. I just want to mention to Dave, you know, maybe, maybe you should think about employing Steve as yeah. fresh casual work. Yes. Yeah. yeah, he needed some help ad yeah. hoc every now and again. Yeah, and, and now, sort of fast forward a year or so, you're there. Full time. So yeah, it's quite a nice sort of story, yeah, and yeah. You know, you're obviously local to Grand Gardens, yeah. and it's great for Steve to kind of embrace his hobby. You obviously, get a bit of a staff discount, I guess. Yes, yeah, yeah, I love it. It's a traditional hobby shop. Yeah, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, you get one-on-one -on -one service. Yeah. People come in, yeah. and they go out. Even if they bought nothing, they they've got loads of advice. Loads of advice. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, I think it's great that you you work there, and I like it. Yeah, yeah. best job I've ever had. Yeah. The money's rubbish. It's the best job I've ever had. He's watching this. <laughs> so you've got trident fern in there, we've got anubia, yeah. uh, you've got some anubias. Yeah. Uh, so three types yes. of fern. You've got the winter yeah. log fern, you've got yes. the trident and the petite. Yeah, the petite was huge and that there's a picture of you with it, with it on, on your head. head. See if I can dig that yes. up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I had I had to cut it back quite a lot and it's now coming back fresh because it was very old. Yeah. And now it's coming back fresh. Just a top tip about Java ferns, once it kind of gets, it almost gets to a kind of critical mass. Yeah. And it and it almost outgrows itself, and the and the leaves and the rhizomes like right in the centre are starved. It just not of circulation yeah. and light. So you need to kind of thin it out now and again, so the whole plant can can keep keep yeah. fresh. It's coming back quite nice. You can yeah. see the nice new growth, growth on it. Yeah. It's an interesting one about Java ferns. People assume it's like an easy plant for beginners, yeah. and yeah. it is. Mm. And but to keep it alive, it is. Yes. But to actually allow it to thrive and become yeah. a nice focal point yes. aquatic plant. I love CO2. I think you know it needs yeah. good. It needs good light. Yes. It needs CO2. Yeah. It needs good nutrients mm. as well. Yes. And it will soon tell you if, it, if it's not. Yeah. Those. Trident goes over very quickly. Yeah. Trident is actually quite. I find it quite demanding plant. Yeah. I'd put it in the medium mm. category rather yes. than easy category. Yeah. Yeah, it's not easy. Definitely. You've got the ferns in there, you've got some crypts as well. Yeah. You've got the, le the Limnophila hyperoides, beautiful mm -hmm. kind of red plant. Yeah. Got some Visidens moss, I've noticed. Pretty awesome. Yeah, I think it's... It's trying to transfer itself. Yeah, it's, I had some Gepi moss here originally that... Was that the Visidens Gepi? Yes. Yeah. And yeah. it just got algae ridden. Okay. And I ended up throwing it out. I put it on too early. The wood was still too rich mm -hmm. for it. And it's transplanted itself. It's kind of there's a little bit over by you. It's mini Christmas moss just above you there. Yeah. Oh yeah, beautiful. 
I've actually got some of that at home and I'm putting my mm -hmm. And the big ear blasters on the right, yes. Saragini, yeah. Talawa Woods. What's the rocks called? What are they? Uh, that's the Grey Mountain Stone. That's nice. Or elephant skin. It's like a sort of more kind of rounded version of me landscape. Yes. Yes. Nice. And it, it looks like elephant skin. skin yeah. Thanks to Zone the Barbs. Yeah, they they're nice. lovely, aren't they? They're, and they're, they're quite bold, aren't they? find them quite yeah. shy. They're really bold. They're, they're feed from your hands. So Cardinal Tetris, Prentice Zone the Barbs. Not um, a mix of fish that I normally choose, but they work really well together. Yeah, they do clash a little bit, but... I think in this sort of uh, yeah. complex style to create, they yeah. work quite well. The barbs do need a bold companion to bring them out. Uh, like a dither fish? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. That's yeah. interesting. Okay. Without that, then they're just, they're just hiding. Yeah. Uh, so let's talk about the equipment. You're not running the inbuilt skimmer on the glass, right. but you've got the Eheim skimmer there. Yes. And this is a top tip, guys. I'm just going to take this out. To stop shrimp from getting sucked into your skimmer, a little bit of garden gauze here. I think you can get this on online marketplaces. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm not sure what it's called, but you're running the Twin Star Nano Plus on all of the. Yeah, the all Nano the... behind you. That's yeah. the Nano Plus for the bigger tank. Yeah. And there's the Nano. And that's the, well. like, a, they call it an Audi steriliser, although the jury's out whether it mm. does do that. But it definitely does produce more oxygen. So that, that cloud yes. that you see is oxygen bubbles, basically. Yeah. Massive um, amounts of oxygen. Yeah, and you're running the Twin Star 900 SA. S. Uh, yes, SA. Yes. Yeah. Bit of an exclusive. I'm getting a 1200 SA. Yes. Very soon. Yes. Yeah. On its way. And you're running what? A Wazo Biomaster 600 yes. on here. Yes. Free filter, which is quick release yes. and the built-in heater. Built-in heater. Yeah. What temperature do you run your tanks at? Between 22, 24. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. you're running on the lower end. We talked about this before. Yes. It's better to run lower temperatures. Yes. Less waste production. It slows everything down. Less algae, less maintenance. The CO2 would dissolve and oxygen, better gas exchange. Yeah, yeah. At that kind yeah. of temperature. More oxygen, yeah, less need for CO2. Yeah. yeah. Lots of people say, oh, you can't keep cardinals below 26, they get ill or whatever. But they're, yeah. they're so healthy. Yeah. And again, it's the plants that. Yeah. Healthy plants, healthy fish. Yeah. That's what Mono used to say. Okay. Yeah, look after your plants mm. and then the fish will follow. Yes. Basically. Yeah, yeah, never have fish disease. Uh, cherry shrimp, I'm guessing mm. from the original colony. Yeah, there's quite interesting there that. You've got a black Black one. ones, well, they were all black, but the offspring That's are weird cool. and wonderful colours. That's awesome. And there's a bright, there's some bright yellow ones, they're, they're, they're like a rainbow. And you've got like a grey gravel at the front. This is yes. like what a Fiji sand or a Hugo yeah. Kamishi. Yeah, stuff. Hugo Kamishi, fine. And then the Denale Rio Zingu. Yes. Mixed in. This is like a really nice naturalistic kind of texture. Yeah. That's great. Oh, so we talked about maintenance. Big water change. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Keep everything clean. Yeah. Glassware. Glassware. In the bleach. Yeah. Looks yeah. really nice, clean. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? And what sort of levels of CO2? That's three bubbles a second, two bubbles a second sort of thing in here. I actually don't count. No, you just use a drop I just, or... To begin with, you have have the bubble count full of water. Yeah. And now I just use yeah, the drop, drop checker. checker. Yeah, Normally it's more yellow than that. But you just done the water change. It, just done the water change. So it's just going yeah. greeny. And if you didn't know what the CO2 drop checker does, guys, it just changes colour depending on the CO2. I'll leave a link to how to test for your CO2. Yeah, um, I have the CO2 on four hours before the lights come on, just to build up yes. the level. So yeah, so um, top tip, if you're using a solenoid, which brings the CO2 on, on and off with your lights, if you have it come on before the lights, you can ensure the CO2 level is at the right amount as soon as the lights come on, so the plants can be, begin photosynthesizing straight away. And you have it come off just before the lights go off? An hour. Hour before yeah. the lights go off. Just so that I'm not wasting CO2. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Awesome mate, okay, well, let's move over to the final mm -hmm. one, shall we? Okay, so final scape, we're going to talk about the Aquascaper 600 Classic Iwagumi. What's the sands on Iwagumi? Is it three stones? Uh, five. Five stones, yeah. okay, cool. And um, what stone is it? It's Frodo stone. Oh, cool. Nice. Uh, quite rare in the UK. I think there's only three stores that stock it. Yeah. 
So there's Aquarian Gardens, mm -hmm. Scape Nature, and which is going to be opening soon, and Aqua Depot. Yes. I think they're the only guys that stock it. Quite expensive. It is, yeah, it's twice the price of the Great Mountain. Yeah. Stone yeah, tube it, about eight pounds a kilo. And it is actually denser as well, isn't it? It's heavy. So yeah, yeah it's uh, heavy. I think there's about 27 kilos in here wow. of stone. A uh, bit of a story. Uh, Steve actually lent me this to take down to the RHS Urban Garden Show. Yes. Travelled okay, but on the way back, we kind of had a bit of movement with the soil, and this is why it's so deep at the front. Yeah. I had to have had another bag yeah. just to, yeah. it, all, it all just collapsed, didn't it? There was a nice hill. But now it's to it begin all kind with. of flattened out, yeah. yeah. So um, sorry about that, mate. I'll, I'll say it publicly. Yeah. And you helped me move it down, yes. and you lifted it out, yeah, it's and it, heavy. Was, it was heavy. Yeah. Uh, I lifted the whole thing on my own. I don't know how you did it. Onto, a, onto like a roller thing. Yeah. Um, and I nearly, I nearly completely bent my back in. The Security guard had to help. Yeah. And then we had to get out the stairs. So plant-wise, just got the Eleocaris, yes. is that from the 1-2-Grow? Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah. tropical 1-2-Grow, Eleocaris, Escicularis yeah, Mini. 12 pots. And do you know what I really like about this? It's a beautiful scape, I like the different styles that you've got going yeah. on. They're all kind of nature aquarium mm -hmm. style, so they're all in keeping with like Takashi's and Mane original philosophy of this essence of nature. Um, but they're all quite distinctly different. You know, you've got your full-on carpet, mature yes. scape on the left, you've got open substrate, kind of wet up your white mm -hmm. plants there, yep. and then we've got a full-on so bit of a groomy here. And I think you've got a, like, a really nice spectrum yep. of aquascapes. Yeah, it's, it's me playing, yeah. really. Uh, and stocking-wise, we've just got cherry shrimp. Just cherry shrimp. Yeah, yeah there's, there's a couple of Amanos and the snails. snails. Yeah. And the near right snails, you just use to clean, like, they keep the rocks clean. Yes. Yeah, they just do their thing. But you're going to rescape the scene? Yes. yes. Yeah. Still keep the stone, hopefully, because the stone, stone is so strong. It's yeah. lovely. You can maybe have like thin branch kind of creeping over the stone, yeah. like roots. Yes. It'd be nice. Yeah, I was thinking it's manzanita wood yeah. coming. Yeah. Um, a bit more stem plants, different plants. I can take, I'll take all the soil out and use most of it again, because yeah. it's still quite fresh. And what's your favourite? What's your favourite scape out of the three? What's my favourite? Uh, differs from week to week, actually. Yeah. Because they they go it. through their phases. Yeah. Uh, on the six hundred nature, it's not looking fantastic. That's normally my favourite, but it's not looking fantastic yeah. at the moment because I cut all the crips down. But now they're coming back bright red. It's fantastic, really. <laughs> it's funny when so, you live with a scape. You see yeah, you just you just, you it, just see you? things and. I've kind of changed to begin with. I was after perfection, yeah. and now I've realised I'm. You can't. Uh, you can't achieve uh, it um, most um, time. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's always something. I think if if that was perfect, then everything would be perfect. Mm -hmm. And then it is perfect, and something I see something else. Yeah. So yeah, uh, it differs between the 600 and the 900, almost a weekly basis. So do you, where, where do you view your tanks from? Do you sit there or do you? Spend a lot of time just sort of over there. It's quite nice to yeah. chill out yeah. of an evening and just you almost get lost in, yeah. in the tanks. And did your wife like them? She loves them. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. She doesn't yeah. mind spending the time. Maybe no, maybe no, just... she didn't like the sits with the tank. No. She, she. An eyesore. Yeah, she didn't like it much. Yeah. But now she's getting more and more. She knows the plant names. That's she's good, getting, isn't it? Because yeah, she likes them. Your wife's into orchids. Yes, she likes orchids. Yeah, so you've got that plant thing yeah. going on. I have to say, my fiance Emma absolutely loves the scapes as well, and it's really nice to have that support, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Thanks so much for inviting me over, mate. Nice it's been a real pleasure. I love, they all look great. I'm sure the audience uh, watching right now love them as well. And I've just really enjoyed like the whole journey with you, you know, from meeting you from that first yeah. time yes. to like to here now, me interviewing yeah. you for Meet the Scaper. I mm. think it's been a yeah, it's fantastic fun. couple of years. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I'll, we'll sign off there, guys. Um, Thanks so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, give, me, give us a thumbs up. Uh, let me know in the comments which of these three is your favourite and why. That's really important. And uh, yeah, you take care. Keep on skating. Cheers. Here we go. Cheers, man.